methane shows up nearly everywhere on our planet. It can come from a variety of sources, like wetlands, fossil fuels, and even livestock. These diverse sources add to the challenge of tracking this potent greenhouse gas. A molecule of methane is able to trap more heat than a CO2 molecule. In fact, it is the second leading gas that is contributing to climate change. And since the Industrial Revolution, global methane concentrations have doubled. It's contributed roughly 20 to 30 percent of the uh, climate change that we've experienced to date. And so there's an urgency in understanding uh, where the sources are coming from so that we can be better prepared uh, to mitigate methane emissions where there are opportunities to do so. By using a combination of field observations, airborne surveys, and data from international partners, NASA has been able to create a new model of the sources and global transport of methane. This model allows scientists to track the global methane budget and better understand the changes over time. Everything around methane tends to be a few years behind carbon dioxide, so we're just catching up to how important and how dynamic methane is as a greenhouse gas. We see these pulses of methane in different places, and when we look deeper, we understand that those pulses are occurring for different reasons. So we might see wetlands in one region, we might see industrial pollution in another area. With this new model, we can track the pulses of methane across the globe to better pinpoint the conditions and activities that may cause them. Methane is, is a difficult gas uh, for us to understand given the diversity of sources and then how the sources and the emissions get transported throughout the atmosphere. The 3D simulation that we produced here helps us uh, better put together the entire story for the sources of methane and as well as its removal from the atmosphere. By taking a look at the story of methane, scientists and policymakers can better understand the sources of methane emissions and work to reduce this greenhouse gas.